that out there is the Atlantic Ocean. I think it comes all the way to right there. We are taking the truck and the camper across the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty awesome. Yes, we're getting it right now. Okay. Yeah, I think the one we were supposed to be on is like 12. Yes, ma'am. 420 8053. All right, three of you traveling, James. That's correct. I'm just going to check your lens on each driver's license. Okay. You're good to go. You're going to go to your left and go up 23. Up 23, okay. Then just hang out until they tell us. You can go inside if you like. Coffee shops open, they have grab and go stuff. Okay. Okay. On my phone, I had a booking code, so she just asked for the booking code, and then she was able to pull up our reservation, and she had us pull on up to our spot here. Surely they lowered that ramp, though. I'm thinking they lowered that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, you jump. We got to hit it fast. You got to hit at least 45 miles an hour so you can get air and land I on the boat. I saw that. <laughs> Didn't they have a camper? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I did see that. <laughs> that will be the end of camper size living as you know it. It will become the James show. <laughs> if we jump it? <laughs> yeah. Just another adventure. When we made our reservations, we had to put in what our length and height was. So I wasn't exactly sure I was able to get on and look up, you know, the Cedar Creek specs. And we guesstimated the length of the truck and the camper. We guessed about 50 feet. The camper itself is 33 feet. They said on their website that go ahead and just, if you don't know for sure, go ahead and, and give your best guesstimate because when you get here and in line, they will remeasure for you and make sure that you're not too tall. And we only have, we have less than a foot extra of clearance. It's crazy, yeah. You, I think um, the limit is 13.6, which is a pretty typical limit on like interstate bridges and stuff like that. I think you said we're 12.11, looking it up. We have a little bit bigger tires on the camper too, so that might give us another inch or two. So we just probably better consider that we are 13 feet. Something else you have to do is you have to make sure you turn off your propane tanks. Just like going through a tunnel, getting on the boat, same thing. Good to go. A little bit of last minute nerves happening. You ready? I'm ready. The right. boat's here. Go gonna happen I guess yeah I'm ready earlier autumn was saying she wished she could walk on with the foot traffic so she and just meet us so she wouldn't have to drive on with us she's a little nervous about that so I mean people do it every day right how hard can it be okay oh there's oh if this guy can make it on so can we <laughs> he smiled and I feel pretty good now here he goes he has to turn around or maybe he's not getting it. Oh, on. is he going to run over the cone? No. no, he's a professional driver. Us professional drivers, hon. <laughs> that semi-truck driver just had to get turned around. He set off the height alarm. They're so close. The security guy was just telling us that if they come through too fast, they bounce a little bit and they can set off the height alarm. They're so close that there's enough wiggle in their suspension and their tires that they could be over the height limit. So we're gonna go nice and easy onto this ferry. I think he's a little taller than we are, but not a whole lot. Second time is the charm, he's back. So those little campers fit fine. I was gonna put my seatbelt on, 
But then I realized, wait, if we fall off into the water, I want to be able to escape faster. So I'm not going to put my seatbelt on going onto the ferry. Here we go. It's crazy. Just like that, we have Clifford and the Grizz, our fifth wheel and truck on a boat getting ready to go out across the ocean. When we look off to our right side, we will see the Atlantic Ocean right there. We're, we're basically crossing part of the Atlantic Ocean. Look the big weights on the side. Cody, you've seen more than most chihuahuas get to see. You've got a couple of lighthouses and I believe this is part of the state park where there's a lighthouse you can go see and there's a World War I or World War II watchtowers and I guess you can even climb up in those and then there's a beach you can walk and all that. Um, so pretty awesome, beautiful out here. We didn't get a chance to walk out and see this from there so we're going to see it from the boat. It's a lot more comfortable inside. It's beautiful outside, just real windy and a little chilly. but. Uh, they got this nice seating area here. and a uh, little bar and some snacks and whatnot. So very nice place to sit and enjoy the view. Adam, you feeling okay? Nope. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, what are we gonna do? Um, I found a staircase, so we're gonna follow it. And what are we looking for? Uh, coffee, something warm. Just to take to mom outside, cause it's cold. You look a little queasy, girl. You look a little pale. You okay? I'm fine. Looks like they got a snack bar back here. Need one? I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I don't think you can survive unless you got a stash like that. Nice.
Autumn is doing much better now that she got outside. Fresh air. I literally have no idea where I'm going. Man, this is first class down here. This is what Bring the doggies in. Doggies are allowed on the ferry. Pets are allowed on the ferry. Didn't you say there was a picture of someone with a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> so even a chicken, I guess. Um, but they have to stay outside on the outer deck. And it said unruly pets will be removed from the ship. No, it did not. What did it say? Escorted away. Escorted away. I don't know where away is, but could become great white, you know, shark food. James. So make sure your pets are not unruly if you come on the ferry. Atlantic Ocean. I think it comes all the way to right there. We are taking the truck and the camper across the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty awesome. Next, Hawaii. Land of Hawaii. I think this is the New Jersey shoreline up here. That blue way out yonder is I think our stop. Kind of near land, so we're gonna go ahead and get back down to the truck and trailer. Make sure everything's good there. Get ready to go. Oh. <laughs> Max is having a hard time going down the stairs at the same rate I am, so I'm gonna let him go down to Kimberly on his own speed. Come on, you're all right. Good job. There is some irony in the fact that this guy's bringing his boat on a boat. They got bike racks right here. Right across there. I literally just got splashed by water through one of these like hatches back here. Wave hit the boat pretty hard, I guess. So here we are sailing along in our 1995 <laughs> F-350 with our 2006 fifth wheel in tow. Sailing along. Sailing along. Literally, look at Let me see if I can show you. It's going to be hard to see. Do you ever get seasick in a truck? Yep. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so crazy. I never ever thought I'd be doing this. Do you ever think so? No. Never RV'd out on the ocean. Next day, you've RV'd out on the ocean. So that was a fun adventure coming across 
the Atlantic Ocean with the fifth wheel and the truck. It was. Uh, we're going to have a good night. We hope that you have a good night. And we'll see you later. Bye, y'all. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications on RV-related tours, upgrades, repairs, and adventures. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch up with you next time.